Hi guys, hey, how are we doing? Um, just been asked to answer some questions for Emma over at Sailing Fast. So, uh, my name is Nick Ironside and I'm a marine engineer. Um, where do I currently stay? Um, at the moment, I currently live on board uh, a new yacht that I am uh, helping commission over in Holland. Um, I've been here full time since the new year and I will be full time on board uh, till June. And then I actually start rotation on this job. So I will be working for a certain amount of time and then I'll be back home in Scotland for my off time, which is something new and something, something I've been really looking forward to, getting a lot, to spend a lot more time at home rather than being stuck living on board all the time. Uh, how did I get into sailing? So I would have said I started sailing when I was about five years old um, and that would have been through my mum and dad really who got into yachts and from that their other the other people they met sailing um, thought it'd be a really good idea if I got involved with uh, Larg Sailing Club and the dinghy section and that's where um, on the, on the evening sailings, that's where I first started actually doing my own sailing um, apart from on the yacht. And that was actually straight into to toppers, sort of at uh, about six, seven years old. Um, and that's where my own sailing really started. Um, so from that, when was I in topper squad? Um, after a good few years, I then started doing club racing um, which then moved on to the Scottish Topper Circuit and from there the Topper Squad and I think that would have been about 2001-2002 I was actually a member of the Scottish Topper Squad and my coaches from then would have been uh, Duncan and uh, Roy McCubbin um, for, those, for those two years. Uh, best bit about the squad um, for me it was definitely the people, um, the travelling you got to do and also the competitiveness of the actual race weekends, um, something to, it really gave you a bit of focus other than um, school and hanging around, it was uh, something that you were doing for yourself and gave you, it was a good motivator to, uh, to actually concentrate on something and really helped because I wasn't that interested in school and the sailing really helped me focus on something else. Um, after the topper, um, I went into lasers for a few years. Um, probably not the best move for the laser because I wasn't really big enough, um, but really enjoyed it still. Really good racing um, and kind of just a continuation of the topper, really. Um, what do I sail now? Um, well, at the moment I'm not really doing much sailing because we're building the yacht. Um, but the only thing I'm actually sailing at the moment would be this uh, 50 meter new sailing yacht that I'm currently helping commission and build uh, here in a very cold, wet and windy Holland. I... Best adventure so far? Um, well, for the last uh, four years, I've been doing different bits and pieces of racing, more so. Um, I spent two years with the J-Class, um, and that included racing in the Caribbean, um, the east coast of America, um, and we actually attended the America's Cup in Bermuda where there was a whole bunch of J-Class racing, there was super yacht regattas, um, and the cup event uh, itself, which we were um, spectating watching. I, after the, the J-Class, I went and did um, offshore uh, racing with the Amoka fleet, and I've been working for the last two years with um, Alex Thompson Racing on the south coast of England. Um, so I think the best adventure would have to be sailing um, from Portugal to Canada doing a transatlantic on the Amoca. Um, there's something, something quite special about doing 30 plus knots in the pitch black. 
Um, sailing, sailing plans for the future. Um, well, as I said, I'm currently on a 50 meter new build. Um, once we've commissioned this boat here, um, we'll be doing a whole load of sail, sail testing and race training in the Mediterranean, uh, mainly down in Palma. And then the plan for this boat is to actually take it down to New Zealand for the next America's Cup. So that's the overall goal. We're, obviously, we won't be heavily involved with the, the Cup itself um, this time, unlike I was last time with the J-Class. Um, but we will be competing in the Super Yacht Cup um, down there uh, in Auckland next year. Anyway, hope that gives you a bit of insight to what I do now. Um, so thanks very much. Bye.